Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D there's a simple function to create 3D color gradients, although they're not natively available in Redshift? Using a ramp node, gradients are usually applied based on 2D texture coordinates. Here, on this apple, a rotational lathe object, the ramp or gradient will be applied vertically using the existing UV coordinates. A horizontal application is also possible or other forms of 2D gradients. But what if you need a 3D gradient that volumetrically penetrates the object? Good examples from the real world for this are the cylindrical structure of annual rings of a tree or the spherical interior of an orange. This calls for 3D color gradients because these apply certain shading aspects volumetrically or throughout an object. Cinema 4D's classic material system offers such gradients. The Redshift material system on the other hand does not. So what to do? In the last video we learned how to manually paint vertex maps and how to utilize them via the vertex attribute node. However, vertex maps can also be created parametrically. This is done with fields. If we select a field in the field section of the vertex map tag, for an example spherical field, the shape of the field defines the weight of the vertex map. This weighting is also displayed in yellow like a manually painted vertex map but is parametrically adjustable here in the form of a 3D sphere. All of this works not only with polygonal objects but also on generator objects like this apple. The resolution of the vertex map is of course depending on the resolution of the geometry. But where is the connection to color gradients? Let's have a look at this apple material. Here I use a vertex map tag for shading using a vertex attribute node. This node masks a yellowish color on an otherwise quite dark red apple. So far so good. Now the cool thing is that the spherical field in the vertex map tag acts like a 3D gradient as it volumetrically defines the vertex map. So with the use of fields in the vertex map tag, we have homemade 3D gradients right at our fingertips. But it even gets better. Unlike 3D gradients in the classic material system, the field counterparts can be conveniently controlled via handles in the viewport. And with the other field types, such as linear field, capsule shaped field, etc., a variety of three-dimensional shapes are available for corresponding 3D color gradients. A fine solution for volumetric structures. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D? Every cool Wednesday on this channel.